The last demonstration I want to do for you guys today is I've got this motor back as a series configuration. This time I've totally taken the crony brake and everything off of this motor. Uh, all we've got is this DC series connected motor um, and we're going to bring the voltage up on it, uh, start it up and we will see what kind of speed we can get out of this motor. Well until I get scared and shut it down. So. so it's, I'm applying about uh, five volts to this motor. And we've got 867 RPM, sorry. As I bring our voltage up, let's bring it up to 50, which is half what this motor is rated for. I'm at 2300, 2400, 2500. 27 oh, and 26. Oh. It's tough to get this in the exact right spot. So about 2700 RPMs with only 50 volts applied. Give her just a little more. So we'll go up to... Let's go up to 60 because that's half what the motor's rated for. You can hear it hum. And we're at 3100 RPMs already. 32. This is an 1800 RPM rated motor. And it's running about 3,200. Well, it's still climbing. It will climb indefinitely if you leave it long enough. It slows down, but it's still going up. Or the rate slows down, but it's still going up. We hit 3,300 RPM at 60 volts. And I don't want to take it much faster than that because we're all almost double what that motor's actually made to uh, the speed the motor's meant to run at. We've almost doubled that, and maybe we have. Still just a little over 3,300 RPM. And like I say, that's 60 volts. So, um, if we take it up any more, you can hear it still screaming away. Uh, well, there's 3,600. There's double what it's supposed to operate at, at just over 75 volts, about 78 volts.